everybody, Rin here with stitchandtravel.com. How are you guys? I tell ya, today is a busy day. We got back yesterday, uh, was it yesterday? No, Monday. Today's Wednesday, right? We got back on Monday from a four-day trip down to the Austin area. Uh, we went down there to, um, go cover the uh, story about the Bastrop fire that happened five years ago. And, uh, it was just great. I had such a good time. We stayed with some friends. I got to go do a girly thing. I got to go downtown shopping, uh, with my friend Faye and had a great time. Got some great pictures, got some great selfies, saw some amazing art. That was so much fun. And then instead of hitting two state parks that we thought we were going to, which was Palmetta and Palmento and, um, Lockhart, which we had planned on when we left John and Faze, we ended up in Gonzales, Texas, and Goliad, Texas. It was kind of crazy because we were we were on the road and we looked at each other and went, Gonzales, come and take it! If you don't understand that, you will eventually. Scott's going to um, do a video on and a blog post on our trip there. Uh, he wants to tell the story of Texas independence. Anyway, uh, then when we went down to Goliad, we were able to see the, um, we were able to see the fort where the, um, in the area that the, um, Goliad massacre happened, um, with, uh, Captain, uh, Fannin. Um, anyway, um, it's just, that's where the, the Remember Goliad, uh, happened. So we got to go there. And then on the way home, we went to Washington on the Brazos, which is where the declaration of and the constitution for Texas as a nation uh, happened at the same time uh, that the Battle of the Alamo happened. Because, you know, the, at the Alamo, they were trying to make time for, um, for the declaration to, to be written. Anyway, we, um, we were successful because I got, uh, let's see, we had five more state parks that we gathered, and we also got ten more counties. It was just amazing at how we got so much done. The only problem is that we were so exhausted when we came in. <laughs> we, uh, we went out to eat. I don't even remember what we ate, but it was something. Oh, pizza. We did pizza. And so now here we are <laughs> waiting for payday to come because we bought pizza instead of um, <laughs> regular groceries. But that's okay because we were absolutely exhausted. We had pizza for a couple of days and it's just a few more days. <laughs> this is the problem with taking trips we're too exhausted to do anything. And then I came in, you know, yesterday, I was so exhausted from our trip that I, I got a few things done. I got some letters written. I didn't get much else done. And when he came home, we, we had leftovers and I went to bed pretty much seven o'clock. I was in bed where I get up this morning, four 30 in the morning. I'm wide awake. So we'll see what happens tonight and see if I stay up. Anyway, today, uh, this week, I have a lot of Texans for State Park stuff to do. And then I also have uh, some things to do on the website. If you look at the website, you'll see that um, on stitchandtravel.com, you'll see that the Texas Parks project uh, has been updated uh, for the most part. Um, there's from Stephen F. Austin until Davis Mountain State Park. We're, we're going to slowly get those up, but we're going to try to get as up-to-date as possible. So if we go on a trip that next week or next two weeks, we have that done instead of, you know, Stephen F. Austin needed to be done. Well, it's, it's way back there. So... The video that I put out this morning is on Big Spring, Texas, which is also a state park. And 
from that one, the next one we'll do is the Bastrop trip. Uh, we'll do Bastrop, and then we'll do uh, Beecher and Goliad and, you know, we'll Mill Hill and Washington on the Brazos. As soon as Scott and I get this processed, I'll put up those videos. Um, the um, Selfies with Strangers is already up. It's on that page on the on the stitchandtravel.com website under Wren's Pages. Um, the new ones are already there. They're towards the bottom. They're great. They're absolutely fantastic. And then um, I haven't got a blog post up today, but I'm hoping tomorrow I get one up because I'm getting ready to have to do actual work. Rah. But that's okay. This is good. Work is good. It keeps us alive. So, and we still have laundry to do and everything else. So, normal living day. So, I'm going to leave you guys with um, the selfies with strangers and a couple of videos that we did. And you guys have a great week. And I'll see you guys next week. Oh, question for y'all. What is a piece of the history in your state that you always thought happened? But when you studied it, it was nothing like what you thought it was. Because when I studied Texas history, I didn't realize that certain things happened when they did. I thought it was over like a couple of year period. But it wasn't. It started March, I'm thinking March 1st. I think March 1st. It's sometime in March. And then our independence for Texas was April 21st. I cannot believe it was that quick. But the very last battle uh, for Texas to gain independence as a nation from um, Mexico was April 21st. So I will definitely be celebrating that next year. Anyway, you guys take care, and I'll see you later. Enjoy the, enjoy the, uh, the photos. Talk to you soon. Bye.